Hello everyone again. It's uh, your boy Chuck Charles Thunder. I'm here doing another trip uh, pretty much all the way to the western, or sorry, eastern portion of the Mediterranean here. Just past Beirut and um, Alexandria and Jaffa and all them. Just trying to get the uh, the ports here. Uh, I had a quest for the event history quests which are found in this tab here and it had to bring me all the way to Alexandria to drop off something for it so I said you know what why not if I'm gonna be out this way why not just pick up some of the ports that I'm missing um, I have ways to stay protected against some of the uh, pirates and things I shouldn't say pirates um, NPC characters that will attack me as you're out this way because you're, you're kind of in an unsafe water right here um, but nothing too scary, nothing that you can't escape from if you're in a like, direct sign of path, sight path exiting the battle area or uh, using a ceasefire agreement to get out of. So I just need to hit one more place. I'm trying to hit Salonika um, or Salonika, whatever you want to call it, just north of Athens. Um, I've already gotten Athens before, um, but that's the last place I'm going to stop in and go. Um, I'm not going to try to go up into the Black Sea. Um, sorry, Black, yeah, the Black Sea, because it's just a little too dangerous to get up in there at this moment. I mean, I probably could if I wanted to use up all my ceasefire agreements in case I get attacked. But um, for the most part, I think I'm just going to avoid it until somebody wants to do it. I mean, I think there's only one, two, only three places that I can claim. Istanbul being one, which would probably be the closest, but then I got to sail across the sea to get to Sevastopol, or Sevastopol and Kaffa, which I'm just going to hold off on. So, in the meantime, just going to sell myself to Salonika, and then my main goal is, since I've gone and used, oops, wrong thing, since I've gone and used uh, my experience acquisition increase and my increased uh, fame item that I have, uh, I'm going to do some adventure questing uh, today. Uh, I've been, I unlocked recently map investigations by talking to Mercator in Amsterdam. You unlock him after you reach a certain uh, level or fame. And what happens is, is then, when you're in areas like this, you can choose this area of the kind of sea you're in. I believe this will be the uh, Eastern Mediterranean. Yeah, we're in this section here. And we can do things um, to, quote-unquote, chart the area. And as you chart the area, you become familiar with the charted sea a little bit more. I don't think you get any bonuses other than just adventure, tray, adventure um, fame and experience. Um, and so those are things I want to focus on doing while I have this five hours of uh, adventure increase uh, because I'd really like to get my adventure up to level 21 uh, which we're not far but we're getting closer but I want to get up there so I can use the Sambuk which is a faster ship larger cargo hold and larger uh, cannons so it's generally an upgrade of the sloop um, although the sloop is currently the one that I'm using is the trade sloop is not going to be as good as uh, the Sambuk anyways um, but we're getting there with our trade um, on our, our, not our trade our um, skills and our at our aids trust we still need 25 more trust so we're about halfway there 26 more trust um, and we're already getting a bonus of extra livestock trading which is nice because that just kind of unlocked as she uh, leveled up uh, obviously she has no like battle experience yet but you know, this is just the start for us. Um, we're not trying to, um, you know, blow this out of the water here with her. We're just going to go about a regular business and do our leveling. And whatever leveling she does, her own is going to be the kind of leveling that we, we're going to get. I'm, not, I'm just not going to bother going out of my way to level her in other ways. It just seems to be a little bit over overkill. Too much to focus on. I have one real focus if I want to maximize the use of this, this experience uh, gaining is to do a lot of adventuring, uh, handing in the discovery quest that I'm about to get here uh, since this is a new port. So I got to go do this at some point back in um, Seville. So along the way, we will hit up a few uh, other.
other options with our map exposure or charting. Uh, I don't know if I want to do the farthest western stuff. I mean, I'm here, and it would be nice to get it out of the way. Uh, but I know if I'm just going to be coming back to do the Black Sea at some point, uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, I'm going to come back at some point, so it's like I have to rush. So I just do what I feel comfortable doing and where I'm going to be. So, I mean, I guess we can start the Black Sea. It's a pretty large area to do, but just a little dangerous. It'll be a good challenge and probably interesting to watch. Let's get the Salonika port. Over here, I like to check the market. So you never get an extra 50 bonus experience. So if we did get 100, that's probably because we had like 75. So we're getting a little extra. I and mean, if we keep doing this, we'll look at the experience stacked up. So let's see, what can we buy from you? Olives, no thanks. Honey, no thanks. Pickles, no thanks. We're going to marble. No, it's all too high. Not worth it. Let's see if we could sell anything here. Um... I'm sure we could, just not for that high price that we're looking for. So we're just gonna we're gonna hold off. All right, so I'll show you how to do this map quest thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit M. Gonna the photons together will instantly create a put together look. Alexa, stop! Again, here she is talking. I don't know where she's getting this from. Anyways. So we now know this is the East Mediterranean Sea, and we're we're up here in Salonika. So hopefully we don't have to. I mean, we're gonna have to do some major sailing in this area to do some the questing, but that's okay. We have to. We have to. And we're gonna hit research. If we start investigating the Mediterranean Sea, it's gonna give us a few things. We need to go to these coordinates. Um, of course, they block out the section. It does not include this. Uh, we're going to go to these coordinates, 1165 and 3183, uh, 3186. Um, so what I like to do is I like to write this down, because otherwise I'll be opening this looking for these numbers over and over and over again. And if, in order to really open up the rest of the research that's needed to chart this ocean or chart this sea, I have to go to these coordinates. So I have it ready. It's already open. We're going to go to the port. And we are going to stock up because this is going to take a while. Better to have a lot of this stuff. All right. So we're going to check our map investigations, and there's our date. There's our our stuff that we need to follow. Put on my frugality, caution to be safe, and we're going to need surveying to find this. Now the surveying as you see here shows us our coordinates in the top right corner here. So we need to get 11653186. So it's not very far from where we are. We're at 3116 right now. And as we head southeast, uh, we're getting higher up in the number. So we're not going to be far from the 3186 number. Um, and we're actually not that far from the 1165 either. So these two numbers are going to increase as we get closer and closer. Um, when one of them hits, it will likely be the second number first. I believe, <laughs> i got to remember X and Y, I guess. This is the Y coordinate, so that means once we hit it, then we just need to stop where we go and head east or west from there. Um, but we might, if we're lucky enough, get close enough that the two numbers match. Um, as we get closer. And you don't need to be in the exact location. You need to be within like a general radius of it. And then you need to use your recognition skill. Which, and then in that moment I will turn off frugality and use the, the recognition skill. So 3174, I need to get to 86. Okay, so we already hit it tells me it's likely on the other side of this island right in this bay area here so we're going to loop around and again it doesn't need to be accurate super accurate I just have a feeling it's going to be in this general area turn off frugality because I think we're going to 3116 Five. Okay, so we're gonna get the three one one eight six. It's just where we need to be. Just get ready to do the recognition. Boom. Okay. 
and we charted that. So now that's going to update our uh, map investigation with either another with another set of coordinates. So now we need to go one five eight eight. So that's kind of far out there. That's going to be really far east. Um, so it's going to be out here somewhere because it's going to be one one. Here we are going up as we go east, and these numbers are going up too. And we need to get to three three four six. So that's another three hundred or so further south. One. 588, I'm going to write down the numbers. And then now you can see all the other things opened up. Now the red ones we have to do. We have to complete so many of these, but then we can do one of these others to complete the quest. So, just need to get to 1588, which is a good ways down. <coughs> and the second number is 33. So again, that's the Y coordinate. So once we hit it, we're just going to head straight east. Because I know it's further east than that. So we're at 3... 272 and we need to get 3346 so we are about halfway there on the y coordinate section so it's probably going to be on this northern shore um, probably just about in line with this uh, island here And what I like about this is that I'm getting a lot of sailing time with my aid, too, so it's like seeming to pass the time. Uh, whoa, uh, did not expect that to happen. Okay, we're alright. Didn't hit ground, we just slowed down a bit. So here we are at 3330, three, so we're about 14 or so here away. We're going to begin leveling ourselves off to go east. Now we're just about six north of where we need to be. Just need to get now about 300 paces to the east here. So this is probably going to put us right at the next island. And you see here we're still drifting south of Hare, and that's okay. Um, if we drift south just about that much, it's not a big deal. We can always readjust. Just coming up. Oop, let's get a little bit more eastern here. It doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be within the general pathway of it. And we just need to get another. We're still going to go really far east from here. But once we get there, we'll hit the recognition skill again. Oop, I want to use the frugality skill so I don't use up all of my day's worth of food. Got to remember to do that. Caution is really kind of necessary in this general region because I'm going to get attacked and I don't want to get into battles here even though that might be one of my map investigation options to yeah, defeat 20 non-player characters, I really don't want to and as you level up with these areas, these are going to get worse and worse and worse so you know, larger in the battles you need to do, so focus these things first get them all done and then if you need to do fishing or discoveries uh, in the same region or raising a shipwreck or something then you can do that um, I like to do all the things that I currently have skills for. Um, I don't need to rush and do anything. Um, just do what is capable for me. Alright, so we're getting close. We are in the general region now of where we're going to be. We're going to get that ready. We could turn off frugality and get ready for recognition. We're getting close. We're about 40 away from the 1500 number and we're close enough in the southern number oh crap, we don't get in combat just by rolling right through the center of this guy we didn't, alright and we're going to go ahead and do the item now done, okay next one, map investigations So we need to return back to where we were, but head even further south. So we need to head back, yeah, back west, and head south. So let's get to 1580. Let's break these numbers down again. That's just going to be the smart thing to do. So we don't have to. We need to go to 1408, which is back west, and 3584, which is still further south. So we're, you know, a lot of times they have you zigzagging. Um, nothing 
you know out of the ordinary but you you will be zigzagging and this this it's a little annoying because you do gotta you know just sail around in circles it seems but this is why you have to have a lot of the food and water you need uh, so we're going now further south to 3504 so we're headed somewhat on a southeastern pattern here but we need to get to 1408 which is further west probably about just east of the island or west of the island 15 so we're about 100 away now in both regards we're probably gonna be just fine with this path and you don't, don't worry about taking the most efficient pathway to anything just take the pathway that you feel most comfortable with Try not to hit anything, feel comfortable with the direction you're sailing, and what you are got to be looking for these numbers. It's not easy to find these sometimes, how they're increasing or decreasing. And now that I've reminded myself this is the X and Y coordinate, you know, you should have an idea of what's going to be easternly or westernly, and what's northernly or southernly. Alright, so we're almost at the appropriate X coordinate, so then we're just need to head south. Now, all right, so we're at 1400, so we're close enough. We'll just go ahead and use our recognition. Hmm, that didn't work. 1408, we were just at it, and 3504. usually generally close enough to work. Hmm. 1408, 85, Oh. Oopsies. Alright, so further north. I read that as 04 on my paper. And I might have said that. Maybe you guys are probably yelling at me for it. But it's just a little further north than this. It seemed a little close to the, to the ground. So that means further south. Oh, so that means actually below the uh, Cairo, or just just in front of Cairo, actually. So we need to go on the other side of this island. Jeez, you see, it goes to show you that this, these sorts of trips can be a little bit frustrating. But once we get that one done, we may not have to do any more. We could do another one of these if we wanted to. Um, but you might have to do more and more of the other options if you want it to work. So. Let's just start <clears throat> seeing if we could. This one's pretty simple. I mean, we only made one minor error, but we were close enough. So just get our recognition ready. So that as soon as we get to 1408. done. And finish the map investigation. Sometimes you got to re-click this to see. So there's another recognition coordinate. So we can go ahead and do that. Oh wow. Seems that we've gotten more. <laughs> Somehow we just got more, uh, so, oh, sale of 10 days, okay, so that just kind of just triggered. 
Alright, so we can do one of the other quests for 25%, or we can just go and do this. This will give us 50% acquisition rate, so that's pretty good. It's 1412 3928. Well, let's pull port real quick. Since we have uh, some lacking nutrition. Actually, no, we don't need to. We have, we have food. That's the idea. Okay, so we need to go down to 1408, which is even further west. Alright, so we're going to get this ready here. Shipwreck, my investigation. So we're now going to 1412, so which is really close to the 1408 we were in, but even further south, 3928, which is really far south into, I guess, this uh, Cairo ri the river here. So we'll see where it takes us. Um, could be pretty far. We'll see. We gotta get to 3900. And you can see how this could just lead you off course and take you all sorts of places, but it's a bit exploratory. You get a lot of sailing days. You don't have to spend time doing other things. Yeah, it really seems like I'm going to have to sail pretty far south. I'm going to have to go around, and it's going to be in the middle of this river, probably down at the bottom here. Let's take a look at the map real quick, too. Yeah, it can. It could be as far down as all the way to the bottom of the river. So that's what I mean. Like, you got to be careful where this takes you, and I'm hoping that this works out in my favor. Uh, I mean, i got plenty of time left on my ship sailing so long as barring any big issues. It's, it's these guys I'm worried about. Thankfully I have my caution on. I think it really wants me to sail all the way down because I'm not going to reach 3900 by the time I reach the bottom of this here. There's no way. It wants me to go all the way to the bottom, and this is annoying, but kind of fun. I wish you could have more than three skills active at a time, because that'd make this a little bit more worth my while by fishing, too. But there's nothing down here, either. There's not like a city or anything. I just figured I'd test it. It's because on the map that I have on my GBO Navi, these little green stars, which might tell you more information uh, about the locations of things. Algae. Okay, that's what it is. A siren, shark attacks, krakens. That's what they're telling you. There's a chance we could run into algae here. Alright, we're getting close to our location. Just need to get back over to the 1408 section here. This is the furthest I've ever gone down the Nile River here. It's kind of cool.
I wonder why pirates would even be bothering being down here. Like, who comes down here? Okay, let's give it a shot. And we got it. So, we may not have... Oh, we did. I had to open it. So there we are. We finished this region. And we are finished with it. Now what I could do is I can go ahead and do open up M and go click the next region. Um, that region could be the Adriatic, it could be the Central... Oh, I don't know how to do these. That's something I'm going to learn how to do. I mean, I'm right here, it'd be nice, but I'm afraid I don't have like the land, land battle ability to do. I guess we could do the Ionian Sea next, so... Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> it's going to take some time. But hopefully that taught you something about how to do uh, ship map, uh, ship map uh, charting uh, with your ship. The way I like to do it, uh, especially since right now I'm grinding adventure experience, which that may or may not have gotten me all that much. Uh, but, you know, it got me enough that, you know, I'll be progressing slowly. It got me just recently by doing that. 155 adventure experience and 52 adventure fame and that's with a 50% bonus on the uh, experience and a 30% bonus on the fame so it's just a process but you have to grind it and I'm gonna try my best to make the best of this map investigation and all the other port stuff I'm getting while I'm going just so that I can get that adventure to 21 so it's a grind guys but it's this is how it goes and once you hit 21 you'll get that ship and then you'll have a faster ship and everything goes a lot quicker then so hope this was helpful everybody and if you have any more questions feel free to like and subscribe and leave questions in the bottom I'll get back to you um, one thing I have one commenter who had asked uh, that I tell more about myself and what's going on in my life personal event um, that I found to be the most uh, le uh, biggest achievement and that would be latest I received my masters in business administration in um, uh, the last two years I finally graduated this past April and got my diploma digitally sent during the quarantine and I'm ready to move on to bigger and better things uh, of course I'll be attempting to do this as much as I possibly can I'm still a gamer at heart although I might take life serious in many cases um, so hopefully this was uh, entertaining and informative and if there's any other questions you have feel free to like and subscribe in the questions at the bottom thanks again guys take it easy